This is an exercise for someone to learn to use the microscope a little bit better. Uh, take a filling that uh, you have in the loan. This is the upper left arch, uh, an old silver filling that had been in for 17 years. We had removed it. Uh, there's a crack underneath the filling. And we know that it's going to later on need a crown or an onlay. So the filling that we're uh, actually putting in, you can see the distal crack, by the way, um, which is right here, it's bonded the tooth together, but it's really not meant to last for a long period of time. Uh, the person, if he doesn't, if he just leaves this, will eventually lose the tooth, and it's clearly stated to the patient so that they know that it needs to be taken care of. But it is an excellent opportunity for a dentist who has a microscope to learn how to contour the uh, filling uh, and get a little more familiar with using the different positions, different magnifications, uh, carving in the anatomy as they follow the uh, contour of the tooth, being able to create what is in the mind's eye through his hands through magnification and that ability will transfer to when you really need it and you're removing decay or polishing down a margin for a crown and so the idea is uh, to practice first uh, uh, naturally out of the mouth but then if, uh, when you're learning to use uh, different magnifications with a mirror, uh, and this is the upper left area, as I said before. Um, you're able to uh, have real confidence to do it when uh, uh, you don't have a, a second chance. Uh, with this sort of polishing and, and carving, uh, we know the filling is not going to last for a long period of time, and we're going to come back and do a crown on it, leaving some of the filling behind because it is a buildup, but this outer aspect will be removed and we're basically just carving it to look like a tooth and to make sure that the uh, occlusion is proper. That's what the red dots are that you see and it's when the patient was lighting down and we're making sure that we're not hitting uh, anything uh, too hard in regards to the filling. And when we're finished, we will go ahead and polish it so that it's nice and smooth. Uh, won't have any irritation uh, to the patient's uh, tongue. And uh, there you have it uh, right there. It's been polished and uh, looks uh, nice and should last until we do the crown or onlay.